Hi everybody, Martin the Flickin' Feathers again today. Tiny wee river bug for you. Uh, this is Carnals All Gold, very simple. But it's a good fly, good for grayling and trout. Um, you know, look, in the rivers it works basically all year long. I assume they take it for a caddis, um, but who knows, you know, could be a bit just a tractory. So, as always, I'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to my Patreon page for everybody that wants to support the channel, get access to the members-only content, and be entered into the monthly giveaways. Come on, hook of my vice. This is a fill and mill super grub, size 12. But use whatever curved hook you prefer. I've started some yellow thread, just uni all. Right, take... Some medium gold tinsel, just catch it in on, on the side and run the thread all the way down. Right, run the bend. Now I've not done anything, the, bed, the bead's free running, I don't add any extra lead on my grubs. Uh, I just use the I just use the bead as the weight. Um, I read an interesting article about how the lead might not actually be affecting your sink rate anyway. So just I missed that stage. You don't need to stabilise the bead or anything. Just you can if you want, but I don't bother. So I'm dubbing the body, and this is uh, SLF. This, this is from the saltwater SLF range um, and the colour is actually tan but it's a very light translucent kind of gold colour um, it's not really like that sandy tan that a lot of us think of when uh, you're all buying like a tan like a dyed tan material and it's perfect for this but any creamy yellow or trans like shiny dubbing uh, will do then I'm just going to dub my body build a wee bit of taper as you go don't go nuts just take away any extra I'll just tighten this up just go back a turn tighten everything up As this is just a tinsel rib, like a mylar rib, I'm just going to run some super glue on the side that's going to stick. And then I'll take my rib up fairly wide turns. You only want four or five turns up the body. Get to the bead and tie that off. You can just come in. Trim away the waste. And then back to my dubbing. You don't need a ton of dubbing here, just just enough as gay a wee thorax. Touch more. There we go, that's nice, eh? Then it's just a case of up finishing. One of my wee rubber bugs always do two because they're bouncing along the bottom. So there's one, and then the next one, I'll put some varnish on my thread. So the 
that seals that will seal both what finishes as we go The varnishes in the knot. Now, the last thing you want to do is rough the fly up with your velcro. I like to start stroking up from the bottom to make sure I get I get it picked out all the way, and then I'll come back to the head and. I just want a sort of buggy, translucent veil that I dub in there. Something like that. You'll be able to see the, the ribs sort of glinting through. But the light also passes through the, the, the dubbing quite nicely. Right. Really nice wee fly. Dead easy, dead simple. Well worth having in your box. So, Hope you enjoyed that, I hope it was useful. If it was, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Headlines guys, bye!